The idea and function of the plate heat exchanger have been pretty much the same since its conception in the 1920s. The plates, on the other hand, have seen big improvements. The biggest changes have been to thickness and plate patterns. Before, plates were very bulky and heavy, and they needed to be because they relied on their thickness for strength. But with innovations in the plate patterns came better structural integrity, which made it possible to use much thinner plates without losing strength. Thinner plates meant higher efficiency, smaller units and more sustainable manufacturing, great benefits that we are continuously improving. Thin plates have been a staple of industrial application since the early 80s, and with continuous development the hydraulic shock resistance and mechanical strength of the plates have been improved. Going from 0.7 to 0.5 mm in thickness might not sound that much, but it really adds up. 30% less material per plate, and the increased efficiency also means fewer plates per unit. This results in a lot less steel, which means less resources and less emissions. We have come a long way since the 1920s, and we will continue improving. Every step matters in our race towards net zero emissions. <laughs>